Hello folks, I want to do a quick video on Israel's seven mountains. Uh, and this is in Revelation chapter 17. So this is an ancient mystery. Uh, people have been wondering what it, what, the, what it means, what are the seven heads for thousands of years. Uh, there are six billion copies of this book in print, and I want to share my opinion of what I think it means. So the seven heads, um, it's a little confusing because there are two groups of seven heads described in Revelation 17. And there's the seven heads and ten horns. And then in verse 9 it says, And here is the mind which hath wisdom. The seven heads are seven mountains on which the woman sitteth. And of course it's a translation, so there's <laughs> lots of wiggle room um, and what, the, what it actually means. Uh, the word mountain in Greek can mean uh, mountain, hill, mountain chain, district, sector, precinct, or parish. And it's important to understand that Israel has seven districts. So that matches up with what um, what is indicated in Revelation chapter 17 verse 9. That these seven heads are seven mountains upon which the woman sitteth. And that also matches up with Jerusalem being the woman. And although it refers to, Revelation refers to the woman as the great prostitute, uh, and she's riding uh, the scarlet colored beast, um, that is Jerusalem. And the, the, uh, the Bible actually references um, Jerusalem as being a prostitute, um, participating in idolatries, and that's in the Old Testament. And I will put the verses and links below so that you can you can uh, validate um, and look into this more thoroughly if you like, uh, fairly readily. Um, so Israel has seven districts, and Jerusalem is the capital of Israel, and that ma that aligns perfectly with. Um, Revelation chapter 17. Now here's the, the other part of this that's very interesting, is that the woman, so Jerusalem, uh, rides this, the beast with seven heads and ten horns. And so what I found in my research is that the seven heads are the uh, seven joint chiefs of staff of the U.S. military, and that the ten horns are the council of ten governors over the United States in times of distress. And they're over the ten administrative regions for continuity of government, uh, government reasons. And that actually began in the year 2010 by executive order. So any time after that, th this scriptures could have begun to have been fulfilled. So um, heads up, uh, I hope this uh, helps you in your faith. And I hope this helps you um, uh, listen to the Holy Spirit and... Uh, uh, you know, uh, repent of your sins and that type of thing. So, um, best regards.